I'm doing it for my daughter. <laughs> All right, so what do we have for Nick's links here? Is there any? Is there new stuff? Is there, I, heard there, I heard there was a new thing. I heard on the grapevine. Yeah. I heard from my friend Joey that there's a new Nick link. What is we it? We were doing a deep dive on this one. Oh, there. shit. with the Pope popped up on a TV. And they both noticed when a Pope walked away out of nowhere, he just disappeared. Right after this happened, they had all the videos took down. You can barely find it anywhere anymore. These two news reporters was live on a local TV station when a cup on a table just randomly moved. And you could tell immediately they both got uncomfortable, but they had to play it off like they was good. This man name right here is Teddy Perkins and his identity is a mystery. So he was supposedly played by Childish Gambino in a movie, but at the Emmy Award, he showed up and took a picture with Childish Gambino. And ah! it's been a mystery about if Michael Jackson had really passed or if he faked his death. People was already looking at it kind of funny, but then he said this. Yeah, I don't think Michael Jackson's dead. And I love that. That's not Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, it is. I wish it was. It's Teddy Perkins. Now what is what the fuck is that? Imagine that. Imagine coming back to like a crazier version of it. Like, what are you thinking, Michael? Take my death. All right. Where are you gonna go? The island off the coast of Japan. Can you look up Teddy Perkins? What the fuck is that that freakish person? It's uh He's wearing makeup, right? He's wearing like latex. Michael. Yeah, he's in the, the show Atlanta. <sighs> Who's he played by? They said Childish Gambino. If Childish Gambino played him, who the fuck is that? They just probably did the makeup. Oh, that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's Michael Jackson. <laughs> so you can tell in the show he has a more round face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like the same guy. Teddy Perkins looks like the real. And this one. <laughs> yeah, that's Michael. Oh, he did white face. I guess he's. I guess uh, Teddy Perkins is the ghoulish white person. Well, this is a black guy. You can see down there at the neckline. Oh yeah, shit. So that's not Michael, unless Michael. Did something even crazier with his skin. Maybe Michael was a black guy the whole time. Michael's not that tall, though. Yeah, he's not. He's a little, little dude. He's like, how tall was Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson looks like a fucking, looks like a woman named Tracy Benavides. Damn. He's like a Portuguese lady <laughs> with a lot of testosterone. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Have you seen Michael Jackson's kids? No. <laughs> <laughs> how are they doing? Yeah, uh, they're doing really they're good. They're probably fine. They're probably just chilling. They seem like they're probably fine. Probably well, well adjusted. Probably... Blanket. Blanket? Probably fucked up. He's on the plane with Trump. <laughs> He's in North Korea. Yeah. He's in North Korea. He's in fake world. Blanket. Holy shit. So that's Paris on the left, right? Yeah. I think that's Blanket on the right. Who's the third one? That's Josh. Mogumbi. Matt. Prin Prince, I think. Prince. That's his name. Yeah, Prince. Yeah, Paris. What's the girl's name? Princessa? Oh, Paris. Paris, Prince, Prince. and Blanket. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude. Oh, it's, it's a it's, podcast. Oh, my God. Is Blanket talking? Do we have footage of him talking? When was that? Oh, a couple years ago. We got to see what Blanket's got to say. This is the one that was hung out the window, right? Deborah yeah. broke the news to Inside Edition viewers. Welcome to a special Inside Edition friend and grandmother Catherine. He also started a podcast with his brother Blanket. Yeah, I really like this movie actually. Uh, they review movies. The world Oh man, there he is. I hope they're okay. I hope I hope MJ didn't molest them. He didn't molest anybody. That was a hit job. I hope he didn't I hope he didn't molest uh, anybody. <laughs> I hope he didn't molest these kids. I'm sure he probably did though. He probably just threw a mannequin at him like when they were sleeping. Game doesn't exist. I guess. Because that's like saying it's like, still a video game movie, but it's not like a video like based off of a video game. I say that adaptation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm a big Sonic fan, actually. Yeah. Like, I've, are I've we been, all? You did. Are you I used to play fan? Sonic. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've been playing Sonic since like I was young, and I like I actually like Sonic the racing game. I think All Star Racing mm -hmm. or something. I don't know if you guys. You guys play too hey, pause before, it. But yeah. It was like. A Man, podcasting's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's the hardest thing to do, to come on and be pa be Blanket Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean like uh, thinking thinking of stuff that's <gasps> like thinking of stuff to talk about that other people are going to either relate to or get value from, and not just be like, I like Toyota Supras. Do you like Toyota Supras? 
Like I, I like which we do anyway. Yeah, we yeah, talk about like Porsches all the time. Yeah. What Porsche do you like, Nick? I like the oh. nine to- eleven. <laughs> <laughs> do you want a white one or a red one? I think I saw a green one. That's cool. <laughs> I think that is cool. Joey, do you like it's, these? These are cool shoes, right? What are Sam's shoes? Yeah. Joey, those are like pretty Porsche. hype. These, are these hype, Joey? I like those. Uh, I this think- look, I keep looking down, and um, I remember when I was in uh first grade there was this kid jason and he was like a bad kid he was obviously the bad kid i went to the place i went to school is like the uh one of the richest counties that in in america so it was oh, like yeah. super super nice like um everybody's like super cornbread and, and uh good behavior and everything yes. and there was one kid modern was, yuppie there's one kid that was a bad kid yeah he had he had like an ear piercing in third grade or like second grade maybe like he was crazy real bad he was that bad. He had a fucking ear. He got an ear piercing. But I yeah. remember he had um, black, either Reeboks or Jordans. And it and um, in f- kindergarten, seeing my first pair of blacked out Reeboks or Jordans, whatever they were, I think they were Reeboks. Is that a thing? All blacked out Reeboks? Yeah, probably like that's a um, thing. Yeah, yeah. I but think I, I actually know the ones you, that they're gonna be. I remember seeing this, and it and it shocked me the same way. The high top ones. Yeah, I know the ones you're thinking of. Yeah, they're like that Club C, but they're high right top. Right there, boom, right there. There's... Oh, these? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I remember that. See, seeing that shocked me the same way it shocked me the first time I saw a gun in at, on a cop's waist in Burger King. Yeah. When I was like six years old, I was like, oh, my God, is that a gun? What is that? What is that? Yeah. Mom, we have to go. There's a guy with a gun here, like bugging out. Yep. The fr- when so, I saw this in kindergarten, I knew I knew something bad was up with that. Those are like Mike Tyson look shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's like a like I guess that's a, what I I didn't that's my, that's my that's my only encounter with that. But Joey, this is like a hood thing, right? Yeah, I mean like the Black Air Force is like a meme now. Mm-hmm. Like if someone who wearing Black Air Force ones and run, they're up to no good. Also, for me, I feel like Black Air Force One high tops were like a janitor sneaker. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is the same thing as being a bad. Mm-hmm. It is kid. Interesting. The black Air Force One, and then the white Air Force One means the girl's pussy smells, right? Yes. That's what they say. Well, girls who wear white Air Force Ones are are they dirty? They have a smelly pussy. I feel like white Air Force Ones in my school were just normal. Yeah, yeah that was like, it's Rhode Island. People love white. Yeah. Like, the Air Force One were just like the everything. the go to. Like everybody has a pair. Got you. But my theory was that the all black sneakers are if your kid is bad and they're going to school, you get them a new pair of sneakers, you know they're like bad and they're like up to no good, they're messing up their sneakers, so the parents will buy them black sneakers so they look newer for longer because they won't get dirty. Ah. That's that's my theory. Isn't that crazy? Yes, that makes <laughs> sense. They don't scuff up. Yeah. You know your kid's gonna be running around in the in the alleyways. You better get some some black black stuff so it doesn't get worn out fast. Get him a gun. Yeah, that too. <laughs>